Hello everyone. Okay, in this video we will learn about Pascal Giffen dispersion model. For case 11 until case 15, the equation involve Pascal Giffen dispersion model. Okay, what is Pascal Giffen model actually? Okay, Pascal Giffen model is based on dispersion coefficient, okay? Where it involves a coefficient of sigma x, sigma y and also sigma z. The dispersion of sigma y and sigma z is for continuous sources where it will be given in the following figures. Okay, so for values of uh, sigma x actually is uh, we have an assumption that sigma x is always equal to sigma y. Therefore, you only need to know or you only need the information of sigma x or sigma y and also sigma z. So you only need the information of sigma x or sigma y and also sigma z. So we will look further what is actually sigma x and sigma z. Okay. In general, okay, we have any diffusivity for case number 1 until case number 10. So this any diffusivity coefficient change with position, time, wind velocity and also weather condition. However, this parameters it is very difficult to be determined in order to solve this uh, problem Sutton in 1953 already solved okay by proposing this following dispersion coefficient sigma x okay this equation also similar to sigma y and also sigma z where it correlates this uh, dispersion coefficient with the concentration uh, wind speed and also time. So dispersion coefficient sigma x, sigma y and also sigma z will represent the standard deviation of the concentration in the downwind, crosswind and also vertical direction. Meaning that sigma x is for downwind direction, sigma y is for crosswind direction and sigma z in vertical direction so in previous statement we say that we have an assumption that sigma x is always equal to sigma y therefore we have the assumption that the concentration of downwind and crosswind direction are always the same okay so the dispersion coefficient are a function of atmospheric condition and also the distance downwind from the release okay because we already have assumption of downwind and crosswind is the same. Okay, so the atmospheric condition are classified according to six different stability classes. Okay, where I will show in the next table. Okay, this is six stability classes. Okay, we have three stability classes involving unstable. Okay, class A for extremely unstable, class B is for moderately unstable and class C is for slightly unstable condition okay so A, B and C are belong to unstable condition where we have a class D where it is a neutral condition okay and class E and F have a stable condition where E is slightly stable okay whereas F is a moderately stable condition okay meaning that you have a three unstable condition one neutral condition and two stable condition. Okay, total uh, you have a six uh, stability classes A, B, C, D, E, and F. Where in this table you could, could correlate these stability classes with the wind speed and also the condition of that day. Okay, for example. Okay, in a daytime, you have either a strong, moderate, or slight insulation. Okay, then combined with the surface wind speed, okay, you know what is your wind speed on that day. You will know what is their stability classes on that day. Either A, B, or C and D. Okay, 
So as you can see in this table, okay, we call this as a meteorological condition of Pascal Gifford stability classes. Okay, this is Pascal Gifford stability classes. As you can see in the D time, the stability classes only belong to class A until class D. Okay, there is no E and F class during daytime. No matter how is uh, what is your wind speed is either less than two or more than six meter per second. Okay, you can see this is a this is the stability classes for daytime. However, during night time, as you can see, either your cloud is a low or very uh, more than high cloudiness. You only have a class a stability stability classes of D, E, and F. Then you have another section, what we call as any time, uh, with your heavy overcast. So no matter how is your wind speed, all stability uh, all stability classes in this table are uh, belong to neutral condition. Okay. So this is a uh, stability classes table. Then we will look further on dispersion coefficient for Pascal Gifford flow model. Okay, there are two types of uh, Pascal Gifford flow model. One is for rural release, another one is for urban release. So we will look first. This is Pascal Gifford flow model for rural area. Okay, for rural release. You can see you can have your reading from sigma y okay and also based on your distance downwind okay you have your distance downwind you have your sigma y or your uh, you have your stability classes okay usually how we look in this table is based on our distance downwind and also our stability classes here okay so based on your stability classes read through your distance downwind you will know what is your sigma y so remember you have your sigma y sigma y is always equal to sigma x then you also can read your sigma z from another table okay this is a table for sigma z so basically from your information of distance downwind and also your information from stability classes you will know what is your sigma y and what is your sigma z For next uh, figure, this is this patient coefficient table uh, figure for Pascal Gifford flow model for urban release. Okay, previously is for rural release. Now it is for urban release. Same like previous uh, figure, you can read through your stability classes and also your distance downwind to find your sigma y and also sigma z. Okay. So basically, for urban release, stability class A and B, and also E and F are belong together. Okay, there are another option. Okay, if you don't want to calculate your dispersion coefficient through the uh, plum release by figure, okay, by uh, graph, there is another option where you can apply this mathematical model okay so this math mathematical model uh, for rural and also urban condition so you still have your stability classes and read through through your x okay what is your x x is your distance downwind just same like the previous figure okay you have your distance downwind and you have your stability classes then you can find your sigma y sigma x and also sigma z through this mathematical equation okay for sake of uh, accurateness okay you can apply this mathematical model okay however if in this uh, if uh, the question asks uh, your sigma y and sigma z and only give uh, only the graph was given so you need to read through from that graph okay 
the same goes for path model okay this is for path model however for path model there is only one type of dispersion coefficient sigma x sigma y and also sigma z there is uh, there is there are no uh, different figure is either for rural release and also urban release okay so dispersion coefficient for pascal gifford path model only have one figure okay it's either sigma x sigma y and also sigma sigma z this path uh, model also act, uh, is mathematical equation okay so this is the mathematical e uh, equation for pascal gifford dispersion coefficient for path release okay a until f then you have sigma y or sigma z uh, sigma y or sigma x and also sigma z okay for next video we will start looking into what is their case 11 until case 15